Okay, so when we look at uh, ocean currents in the North Atlantic, the the most known current and one of the major driving forces of all the currents is the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream carries warm water out of the Gulf of Mexico up into the into the northern waters of the North Atlantic. It then feeds in to the North Atlantic Drift, which continues that process of transporting warm water up into the far northeast corner of the North Atlantic. After the Northeast Drift, um, it turns into the Norwegian Current, uh, but it also branches off into the Eminger Current. We also have a branch uh, further down um, in the middle of the North Atlantic, which kind of circles off as the Azores Current. And uh, this is the um, basically the current that's kind of getting pulled round off the um, off the Azores High here. On the underside of the Azores High, we've also got. Um, the feeding force from all those northeasterly winds getting pushed across, um, we get our equatorial current coming back across, back across the the Atlantic, and we also then see on the eastern side of this a bit of a cold current um, called the Canaries Current. Uh, the reason it's a cold current coming down. Um, there. It's not that it's bringing um, cold waters from the north, because um, as you can see, this is this is all kind of warm waters being pushed across from um, fr from essentially the tropics. Um, what's happening here is all the all these northeasterly winds are leaving um, a lower depth of water here, and so there's an uprising um, occurring in the eastern Atlantic there, which is allowing the colder waters from the depth from the depths of the ocean to find their way to the surface. Uh, the same thing's happening here as well as the, all as all the northeasterly and easterly winds push across the Atlantic. They leave a um, a lower water um, level uh, on the eastern side, and so we actually get um, a counter current. So it's the equatorial counter current that runs back um, runs back uh, eastwards across the Atlantic, and it's kind of one of the very few currents that runs against. Uh, the grain of the surface winds. Uh, that equatorial current then feeds into the Caribbean current, um, just continual um, movement of the water um, through the tropics there. And we also then have a couple more cold currents um, coming down from the um, from the polar regions. Um, so first of all, with the with those northeasterly winds, um, we have the driven East Greenland current, which circles around the bottom of Greenland, and then we also have the Labrador current getting pushed down out of the Arctic up here, and it again kind of feeds down here. So, uh, yeah, the currents do tend to follow um, the surface winds. So you've got your Azores high in here, um, you've got your your northeast trades. You've got the that westerly um, airflow pushing across between um, the subtropical high and the polar low, which is helped form by this these cold waters getting pushed down from the polar region of the Arctic, and these super warm waters getting pushed up by the strong Gulf Stream. Um, so that creates a real battleground here, and that helps the formation of the polar lows, which then get pushed up into the northeast Atlantic. Um, but that North Atlantic drift following on from the Gulf Stream, um, that keeps these, uh, or, or northwest Europe, or the northeast North Atlantic, um, much warmer than other places along the same latitude. And the Norwegian current just keeps that going up, keeps the Norwegian Sea relatively ice-free, um, and the Armanger current um, just tips around um, the southern uh, 
southern coast of Iceland, keeping that a little bit warmer as well. Um, of course, these cold currents that are coming down from the poles, uh, they are potentially bringing icebergs and ice with them as well. And so you can see how far south these icebergs and ice flows can get. You know, you're talking like, you know, similar latitudes of, of uh, Central Europe. And uh, yeah, it just kind of goes to show how, how much heating is given by this Gulf Stream and the, and the North Atlantic Drift. So that's the, that's the major uh, oceanic currents in the North Atlantic.